NMSurf started as a DSL company, ISDN dial-up company back in 1997. And, you know, we've kind of evolved with all the different technologies that have come around. And we finally got into wireless in 2005. And then about five years later, we got into fiber. And so currently, our coverage area for NM Surf covers all the way to the south, Albuquerque, Edgewood. We go all the way to the north, Española, Las Vegas. And so we have a pretty wide coverage area. The challenges that we were having with our traditional fixed wireless manufacturer was we were getting a lot of interference problems. And, you know, the speeds weren't always up to par. We were told one thing and, you know, and, and it, it is actually another thing when you actually deploy the equipment. With Tirana, it was what it said it was. Um, you know, the interference mitigation was awesome. We didn't have any problems. We were able to deploy systems and customers were able to see those speeds and get those speeds as what Toronto promised. Traditionally with the other manufacturers, we, we couldn't get the, the speeds in a lot of cases. We were only able to offer up to 25 meg by seven up. And so, you know, it was meeting some of the requirements in, in the days of the pandemic and it was working for a while, but then it, it stopped working for us anyways. And, you know, here in New Mexico, we have a lot of mountainous terrain, so the distance was also a problem. And with Toronto, they solved that for us. Toronto's really been a godsend for us. We didn't really believe that Toronto or any other manufacturer of that could, could make on their promises of what they put on their data sheets. So we have tried other manufacturers as well, and we never saw that. So I actually did a little bit of research on Toronto, and I found this technical paper that Toronto did comparing their system, which they call next generation fixed wireless, to all the different types of fixed wireless, like your other traditional fixed wireless. Uh, you got the 5G, you got the 4G, the 3G, but I'm glad we finally found Toronto. <laughs> we bought a few BNs and RNs in the five gigahertz space, and we had heard that it mitigated interference really well. So what Brian and I did was we drove down about a mile and a half to a local taco shop, right? Uh, and we said, okay, if this stuff is as good as they say it is, we should be able to get a connection here. It was a mile and a half. We couldn't see our tower. It was completely covered by trees. And Brian was driving. I put the RN outside of the window and wow, it connected. And we were in shock and awe. And we were getting a hundred meg at window level of a truck. And so that's what really made us a believer at that point is when we said, we got to buy this stuff and deploy it. I just felt like it was a, it was a technology that was waiting to happen and Toronto came through with that technology. And so, I mean, I was kind of immediately sold. And as soon as we tested and deployed it, we knew it was the truth. It was a non-line of sight technology where our older technology wouldn't work, Toronto worked. And so that was basically what, what sold us. Originally, you know, before Toronto came around, we wanted to deploy fiber everywhere that we could where it was feasible. And after Toronto, we said, well, you know, it's probably better if we just deploy Toronto because it makes more sense. And we'll utilize our fiber plant to run to our tower sites. And that's what we've been doing. The fiber that we've deployed, most of it is for our business customers. Going forward, we use the fiber plant just to run to our tower sites now and, and get those middle mile connections beefier than what they were. There's a lot of things that Toronto has been able to do for us. The interference mitigation, the way it's able to use the same frequency on all the BNs, the, the long distance profile, all of those things complement NMSurf and help us to build our business. Not having as many tower sites is another good thing for us because again, we're in an area where there's not a whole lot of towers here. And so if we deploy in a tower site, it should be able to cover a swath area of, of the city or that particular geographic area. And so that's helped us tremendously bring down our ROI. With fiber, we were looking at spending 10 times the amount and, and not being able to do that without some sort of investment. So with Toronto, we were able to do that with our own investment and with getting grant money. 
We get funding from our local regulatory commission. What they do is they say, okay, give us an area where you guys want to deploy an unserved or underserved area and how you're going to do it. And so it's really helped us quite a bit with Toronto because the numbers are there, the speeds are there, um, the reliability factor is there. And so it helps us to leverage those funds a lot better instead of, you know, with our traditional system, it might have been a little bit more questionable and they may have said, well, we don't believe this is going to work. So, but with Toronto, there's, there's no question. It will work. There's no questions asked. And if you want, you can come visit us too. We can give you a demonstration. I actually am on LinkedIn and I post all of our speed tests every week. Not, not every single one, but whatever the texts send to me and I'll, I'll post those. And those are typically in the 200s, 300s, 400s. And that's with five gigahertz. Once we go to the X2 system, we're going to be looking at probably double that. We're using NMSERP and we've been using them for three years now and they've been way better than other competitors. We were having slower speeds at one point and they uh, told us about Tirana which they changed out for us and it was a night and day difference. Allowed us to get videos quicker and get better service non-stop. I recommend it 100%.